hello everyone welcome once again today we are going out we want to go get litter for our dads uh let me say share a bit about poultry litter before we go out now litter is that material you put on the floor for your beds to move around on to sleep on to sit on to pass their pool out on that is litter material there are different types of materials you can actually use but I like to divide the litter material into two. Materials from edible food materials, food products, and materials from inedible food products. In general, the materials we use as litter are byproducts of other things. So we can make use of materials from edible food products like um, the shell of granite. We can make use of that shell. Is it shell or husk? Granite husk or shell, any of them, we can make use of it. We can make use of corn, the maize. After eating maize, that inner one that we throw away, can break it down, small, 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 and make use of it. We call it pulverized corn cob. We can make use of that. Rice shell. After you, you harvest rice from the farm, the back of rice that is removed from the grains, we can use that, pack it from the rice meal, and use it either in grinded form or even the raw form. We can use straw um, from um, rice, after rice has been planted and the seed has been harvested, the straw can be used. The straw from your maize plant, you can chop it down into smaller levels and make use of it. So all of these are um, uh, byproducts from um, edible food crops. Now, these are the best, the best litter materials to use because they are from edible food products. There is no um, chances of them harming your beds. Um, but then they are quite um, in short supply and they are expensive too. There are other ones that are more readily available and cheaper, but they are byproducts from non-edible products, non-edible materials, like your sawdust. If you go to timber shade, you go to sawmill, you will find sawdust, you will find wood shavings, you will find other materials that are from non-edible products. Today we'll be going to um, the sawmill to see if we can get sawdust for our beds or wood shavings. When we get there, we'll try to see if we can compare both and see which of them is better. Then we'll go with the one that is better. Now, there are times you will need a little material and you can't find the one you want in your mind. You have to improvise. So let me give you some few things you have to check for in determining a material that is suitable as a little material. Now, whatever material you decide to use as a litter material must, number one, have the capacity to absorb moisture. It should be able to absorb moisture. Number two, it should be soft enough to be comfortable for your bed, not causing bruises for them all over on their chest. It should be soft enough. Number three, it should not have too much dust. If you have too much dust on it, it can raise and lead to respiratory infections. Or respiratory issues so it should be dust free number four if swallowed it should not be harmful to the beds so it should be non-toxic number five it should be relatively cheap and available if you have a material that is expensive it adds to your 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 production cost so it's not really good for you so get a material that is readily available and cheap once you have all these five um in any, any material, you are good to go. So you'll find that cartons fall into this category. You'll find wood shavings, you'll find sawdust, you'll find all of these other materials I mentioned. They are suitable materials. And any other one you can think about that meets these five criteria, you can use them as a litter material. How much wood shavings, sawdust, or litter material should you get? How much of it should you get? So the material you choose, you should have in mind that uh, the thickness should be such that uh, when water or any other thing pours on it, when they pass out pour on it, it can absorb it. So your thickness should be at least th five centimeters, three to five centimeters thick minimum. If you are going to be changing it, three to five centimeters thick. So that should give you an idea of how much, based on your floor space in that place, in your room, your, your, the room where you are raising your bed. You, 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 the floor space and based on this consideration, you should know how much you will need. And also, um, how frequently you intend to change. 
your, if you have been farming, you will have an idea of how long it takes before you change in that your space. So this will give you an idea of how much sawdust, wood shaving, or litter material you need to change. But if you are just starting, you have no idea, please get as much as you can. You can use it for one batch, use it for subsequent batches if it remains. Now come along with me, let's go to timber shade. So we are at the sawmill, the timber shade to get wood shavings for our chicks. Now, what I'm holding in my hand here, this one by the left here is called wood shavings. You will find that it has been shaved out of the wood, looks like shavings. Then this smoother one is called sawdust. This is sawdust, this is wood shavings. Both of them are usable on the farm, uh, on your poultry farm as little material for your chicks. We we'll put them on the floor to give the chicks a comfortable surface for them to um, raise, to be raised on. I'm going to give us um, a comparison between wood shavings and sawdust. Which of them is better and more appropriate for use on the poultry farm? Now let us start with the, with the sawdust, its advantages. Sawdust is cheaper, number one, in most places. Number two, sawdust is more comfortable for your chickens. If you put it on the floor, because of the tiny particle size, it's a lot more comfortable for the birds to lie on. It doesn't cause bruises, doesn't cause any marks on their body. Now, sawdust is also easier to absorb water. It has better absorbent properties. So it will soak in water more and leave your place drier for long. Now, sawdust is also easier to um, be degraded by this uh, environment. You pour it out after you use it, in terms of biodegradation, it is better. You can even use sawdust on your farm as manure. So these are advantages of sawdust. On the other hand, um, wood shaving has, um, is not as comfortable as sawdust, obviously. Some of this will cause bruises to the body of your bed, obviously. You will also find that it doesn't absorb as much water as it should because of the nature of its, its um, particles. Uh, but some of the advantages of wood shaving over sawdust is that, number one, wood shaving doesn't look like food. Your birds can mistake this as food and start eating it. But wood shaving doesn't look like that, so your birds do not mistake this. Number two, sawdust can mix up with your feed easily, but wood shaving does not mix with your feed. If there are bigger particles, if they mix with food, you can easily filter them out, unlike sawdust. And so for these purposes, when you have young chicks that have not known the difference between food and this, it's best to use wood shaving. If you are going to use sawdust because it's more available in your area, please ensure to put a layer of paper on the sawdust before you put your chicks. After five to seven days, they get used to food and they won't mistake it for this. Wood shavings will not enter into the drinking water, but sawdust will. So this is comparison between sawdust and wood shavings. Now, when coming to buy wood shavings, there are some things you should look out for. When coming to buy wood shavings, there are two types of wood materials. There is a wood material that is not treated with any chemical, and there is wood that is treated with preservatives. When you come to buy wood shavings for your poultry farm, ensure that you buy from a wood that is not treated with chemicals. We have different woods here. Most of these woods have not been treated with any chemical. They are natural wood, so they are good. Look at them on the ground here. They are just plain wood, no chemical at all. No chemical whatsoever. But if you find in the place where you go to buy your wood shaving that chemical they apply on the wood, if you take it and put it for your chickens, because of that chemical, you may have negative reaction. So please ensure to check very well that your wood does not have chemical before you buy that wood shavings for your farm. Now, it is best to buy dry wood. Dry wood shaving is better than wet one. If you can't find dry one and you buy wet one, you have to go and put it under the sun to dry. Otherwise, it will grow mold. Moldy one with green bacteria, algae and fungi growth on it will cause problems to your chicken. If your sawdust is not well dried, take it out, air it, put it under the sun, let it be properly dried before you use it in your poultry farm. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.